What's up YouTube family? This is BTV. I want to thank Bucky for recording these contents. This is Bucky Contents. Thanks, Bucky. People that are hungry are willing to do the things today others won't do. In order to have the things tomorrow, others won't have. To have a special life, you have to do special things. And that usually means putting in the work and loving it. No one is going to create the future that you want for you. We get one opportunity to come this way. We get one shot. We got one life to live. Life is too short to make excuses. I want you to close your eyes and visualize your dream. I, I need you to get out of your comfort zone. If we all woke up ordinary, we all off to the same start. You've decided that you're not going to allow the events, the things, the people, life, determine who you become. It is a decision that you have to make within yourself. No one is responsible for that. Stop waiting to feel like it. Stop waiting until you see it. Failure is only permanent if you choose not to get back up. And what you do today will determine your future. And I'm asking you, what do you see in the future for you? What brought you here today? What caused you to get up? If you get some setbacks, embrace them. Sure, every day is not going to be a good day for you. Every day is not going to always happen for you. But it's always something happening. But you got to make it happen for the right reasons. For every day of your life, you must continue to believe in yourself. For every day of your life, you must have enough faith and understanding that it's up to you to make that difference count. You got to realize your only competition is really yourself. They may be winning on the outside, but if you're losing on the inside, how can you overcome that? I'm going to tell you how you can overcome it. Shut down each and every negative thought that comes into your brain. Each and every time it pops into your brain. Every day, every single day is a new beginning. So take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. It's a new day. A new opportunity. Expectation. Expectation is a strong belief that something will happen. It don't say may happen possibility that it would happen. Depending on the situation that it would happen, it's a strong belief that something will happen or be the case in the future. Also a belief that someone will or should achieve something. Expectations. At the onset of the season, there weren't many expectations from the outside. There were a tremendous amount of expectations from us because we know what we have on the inside, we always believe, like the shirt say, we believe. Not all of us, but just enough believe that we could carry on our expectation. Now, I'm sitting up here thinking, and I've been playing with this word in my mind, thinking what does this word mean to the multitudes? Expectation. Does it mean the expectation that you have of yourself? Or does it mean the expectation of, that people have of you? So when I say, what's your expectation? Which one is it? What's the first thing you think of? Is it the expectation that you have of yourself? Or the expectation others have of you? I don't want you to get caught up in the expectation that others have of you. Because that really don't matter. Because you're going to be judged no matter what, regardless of what you do, what you accomplish, what you don't accomplish. But what matters is how you see you, what you expect from you. My problem is my expectation I have of you may exceed the expectation that you have of yourself. I know what you're capable of. I know what you're capable of. I know what all of you guys that I adore in this green, I know what you're capable of. And my expectation of you 
may extend that. That's the only reason the coach gets upset. I see you in a certain way that you don't even see yourself. And that's a problem for me. How do you see you? How do you really see you? See, some of you have a false sense of reality. But the majority of you have an expectation, but I don't think it's that of which it should be. Because you're better than that. You're better than this. You're better than what we've been showing. Yeah, we do it all. But we're better than this. Huh? Coaches, I know they may not agree because you know this is the most love, this is the most respect, this is the most attention that you've ever received in your life. So you may settle with where you are right now. And that's the level of mediocrity. Because that's what we are. We're not consistent offensively. We're not consistent defensively. We're just getting where we need to be special teams, but we're not consistent with some of the things that we're doing. But my expectation of you all are to be dominant in every phase of the game. Not only that, but my expectation is for you to be dominant in practice. Some of you are just meandering and moseying on through practice, and you think you're going to be able to hit this switch in the game and turn it on, and you're not built like that. So my expectation of you in practice should be great should be pro-life. 